beautiful coda to getting to come back and see each other and said it was crazy having professional actors young sheldon series finale breakdown why jim parsons and mayim bialik became a bigger part of the ending reba's return and when the spin-off will pick up spoiler alert the following interview discusses events from the series finale of young sheldon the episodes funeral and memoir streaming on paramount plus as of may 17th really guests right. and read and be intimidated by you because of how smart you are or me Sheldon cooper and amy farrah fowler in the prequels to life montana bazinga that's a wrap on cbs young sheldon as the hit comedy prequel to the big bang theory bid adieu with its final two installments after seven seasons and 141 episodes on thursday Though a lot of details were known going into the series finale, that Sheldon's Ian Armitage, Father George, Lance Barber, had died off-screen in last week's episode. That Big Bang alums Jim Parsons as adult Sheldon. That mean you'll get baptized? Beautiful coda to getting to come back and see each other. And said it was crazy having professional actors on our set for once, but um. And Mayim Bialik as his wife Amy would appear and that 14-year-old Sheldon would be heading to Caltech. The episode still delivered surprises and a slew of Easter eggs. Predictably, the first episode, Funeral, is probably the heaviest, most dramatic episode in the series' run, and as executive producer Steve Holland tells Variety, striking the balance between comedy and drama was the most challenging thing. He credits his usually funny cast for bringing the dramatic chops to pull it off. Really advantage to get him to go to Leonard's game. That must really rare. Our core cast is this amazing ensemble. The whole family together. This is riveting. The show also had to navigate such things as finding a way to get the uber busy Reba McIntyre in for a quick cameo, and just how much they should show George in his funeral casket. The challenges didn't stop there, as the final episode, memoir not only had to include Sheldon's final days before heading to Caltech, but also the much-hyped appearance of Parsons and Bialik that ended up being much more than the end-of-episode cameo one might expect. Instead, their part of the episode gave shape to the entire Young Sheldon series. I hope I'm as good at that as you are. 30 years, or maybe or 10 or 20 years, I hope. I've seen that piece of Washington Big Bang Theory. This Holland also provided insight into who's responsible for naming the Georgie and Mandy's first marriage spin-off and roughly when that multi-cam series will pick up when it premieres this fall on CBS. That's what we can inform you. If the audience is satisfied with the information, don't forget to help us by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing. For the support of all the viewers, we thank you. Together, this is riveting stuff. We were blessed to find somebody like Ian. If you can't.